Hey everybody, Mike here. Today we're going to be making a copycat recipe of Frisch's tartar sauce. It's Frisch's big boy tartar sauce. It's pretty close to it. I may have put a little bit of extra stuff in there. All right, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to start off with the goodness. We'll start off with that mayonnaise. Oh, running out. I'm glad I bought some more. Get that. There it is. I kind of like Duke's mayonnaise. It's pretty good mayonnaise. It's good for recipes like this. All right, that looks like about enough. About a cup of mayonnaise. There we go. I always make fresh tartar sauce for my fish, my tuna croquettes, everything like that. All right, this is optional, but I like to put a little finely diced onions in there. Just about a tablespoon. You could put a little more in there, put a little less. I don't have any today, but if I did, I would put a little bit of tiny carrots in there. I like the orangeness in there. But most of the copycat recipes don't call for carrots, so I didn't put it in there. All right, it looks like about enough. Next, it recommends dill relish, but I like to take a kosher dill pickle, dry it off really good, drier the better. It won't slip off your knife, it's easier to hold. Make some long slices down along the line like that. Finally dice this up. I like a little extra in mine myself. Plus you use these kosher deals, it gives it that nice little crunch. All right, that'd be good. We can add a little more later if we like. Salt, just a dash. Next, I'm gonna put a little sugar in there, just a little bit. Get them. Oh, the dill pickle. I'm gonna put about a tablespoon of that in there. Now on this particular recipe, I'm using pickle juice, but always you can use lemon juice as an alternative for pickle juice. And last but not least, garlic powder. If you can find a way to put it in there, put it in there. The recipe just calls for a dash. I'm gonna use my little whisk today. Stir it up nice and good, doesn't take long. Let's give it a little taste. I think I'm gonna put some more onions in it and a little bit more pickle. Just a little bit. Now you start to see all them chunks. 
that green. Like I say, this is precious, but a little bit more twist. Not perfect. I'm gonna let it sit. <clears throat> I'm gonna let it sit for about five or 10 minutes in my trusty old mason jar. And then I'm gonna test it again right after. Sometimes everything gets absorbed. You might need to sweeten it up a little bit more. I'll put a little more salt in there if you don't mind. Look, I didn't get any on the, I didn't get any on the butcher block. All right, there you go. There's your kinda fresh's tartar sauce, homemade. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.